right, Chaffee, I'm going to give you an easier question. <laughs> Great. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Go for it. All right. This one comes from Rick, M-O-N-T-I-L-L-A. Montilla. Uh, is that it? Uh, Ashley Montilla? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Chavi, here's an easier one. You ready? Sure. I know what my answer is, but I know what the question is. <laughs> so here's the question. Rick says, I have a small mobile home park. Don't you feel like you're on Jeopardy right now, Chavi? That's right. So, <laughs> do you have to answer with a you have to answer with a question? I have a, I have a small, oh, there's Rick. He's here. They don't have a microphone. Okay, Rick, we're answering your question. I have a small mobile home park that I would like to sell, but it needs a lot of work. And no one wants to buy my mobile home park because it has so much deferred maintenance. Question, what can I do to find a valid buyer? Well, that's just a bunch of marketing, isn't it, Jay? <laughs> well, it's marketing, but it's also offering um, an easy way to buy it, right? Sure. So, so Rick, I don't know what you've already done to market your mobile home park, but most mobile home parks like this, I say most, like over 90% of them, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's the majority of them, are sold with owner financing for a long period of time, right? Most of the time, these mobile home park owners, when they're selling, they're not wanting cash, cash, cash. They're wanting to like, you know, build, you know, cash flow coming in. Uh, did you want to jump in, Chaffee? Yeah, well, I, I just, for clarification purposes, um, when you own a, a mobile home park, there's multiple different ways of ownership, right? I mean, you can own the, the park and then you can own the mobile homes on the park as well, or you can just own the land and then have people have their own mobile homes and then rent the land to them. So I'm not sure at what level, Rick, you own that park, um, because depending on what's on there, um, it, you know, your marketing is going to be different and the people that are going to buy it are going to be different. So so I guess that's that's what I'm unclear of uh, with that question is what level of ownership do you have and what's actually on the park that you can actually market to find the right people for that. That's a good that's a good point, Chaffee. Um, and so I'm going to keep my answer rather generic right now, and that is whether the, whether you own the mobile homes on there or not, right? Uh, you want to you be able to owner finance the whole thing. I mean, you want to be able to owner finance the whole thing to make it super easy to buy because for an investor to go to a commercial lender, particularly, you know, on the deferred maintenance or whatever, that could cause a problem on getting a loan. So offer it owner financing and back to what you said, Chaffee, come back, comes back to marketing. You want to make sure you've got that mobile home park listed. Do not try to sell that mobile home park on your own. Do not try to sell that mobile home park <laughs> as a FISBO, <laughs> right? You want to you want to list your mobile home park with a commercial with a realtor that specializes in commercial deals, and that's all. I do not want to be listing my mobile home park with a residential real estate agent. I want a specialized guy doing that. Uh, own it uh, outright, and I do own some traders. I know that there are so many questions to be able, right, right. But those are my biggest two pieces of advice right now, Rick. List it with the right commercial uh, guy or gal and um, offer owner financing. 